hello people of YouTube. Today we are talking about everybody's favorite Bionicle character, the Great Spirit, Matanui. Um, Matanui, he's gold. He's the dude. His body is made out of sand. And he uh, was embedded in the mask of life. But before all that happened, he was a giant robot. And the universe, the Matorian universe was inside of him. Right? Yeah. And before that happened, he was built by these guys named as the Great Beings. Uh-huh. And before that happened, he, there was a prototype of him built on Barra Magna. All right. Uh, got it? All right. Yeah, I got it. I got it. And uh, it's prototype. Uh... And the prototype would be his kind of penultimate form. Later, um, after he was the gold man with the mask of life. I got gotcha. you. In his ultimate form, his final form is the mask of life, just living inside of it, I guess. Yeah. So Mazanui, he's the cool dude, you know, father figure-ish, you know. You know, uh, now that I think about um, Makuta Teradax is bro, because Makuta Teradax is a good police officer. Makuta Teradax? I mean, they get along? They got along at some time. So, I mean, uh, this, uh, this, uh, Montanui guy kind of reminds me of someone else. Who? Uh, someone else whose name starts with an M, who also has a jealous brother. I can't put my finger on it. I don't know. Think he was a lion? Oh, yeah. Would he say he meets that archetype? Yeah, I, th I think, I think he's very much, uh, Mufasa. Yeah, we'll we'll get to we'll get to the uh, cliff pushing scene, or Montanui's version of it. So Makuta, he's a good police officer. The Makutas are all good police officers. There's a they had to put down a rebellion. They put it down, and they're like, "Why the hell are we doing this? We could we could be causing a rebellion ourselves." You know, seems pretty logical. And then they do. They're successful. They put him to sleep for a thousand years. Good deal. You yeah, know? yeah. Then he wakes up. You know. Makuta takes over his body and sends him out in the mask of life. And then we get back to him being the gold guy. And that's pretty much it. I must say, that's uh, it's pretty... Uh, I mean, I guess if you combined uh, Mufasa with Simba, that sounds close to what you uh, just described to me. The, the thousand years things and a jealous brother, uh, a jealous sibling, this all reminds me of something of, of, other than the Lion King. Something about being imprisoned for a thousand years. Um, that number. I don't know. It reminds me of something, uh, maybe, maybe something to do with colorful horses. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you could almost say that you could almost say that uh Mont is kinda like Princess Celestia from My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. Yeah, but instead of imprisoning Nightmare Moon for a thousand years, uh it was the other way around. It's a pretty interesting turn of events. And Montanui has uh, six heroes that have one destiny. And what does uh, Princess Celestia have at her disposal? Disposal, sorry. Six heroines with one destiny. Oh man, this is spooky. This is pretty spooky, man. I don't know. I don't know if I like this. Yeah, we're going to some interesting places. And let me guess, in the second or third act, they lose their powers. Does that happen? Oh, wait, it does. <laughs> oh, man. This, this is some spooky stuff. Major spooks. And one of them would be set apart from the others as super special. And get rewarded with physical uh, adornments. This is a. Uh... Oh man. 
This is a this is an award winning formula, is what it is. It, it must be. I mean, how else could you describe? Um, how else could you uh, you know rationalize this? Did MLP FIM win some awards? I'm sure it did. So I mean, you know, it, not only is it appealing from a creator's standpoint, it's also appealing from an audience standpoint. But really, uh, when have you seen so many similarities um, in the uh, core mythologies of works? Seems pretty spooky. It is. It's very spooky. And it's not like Bionicle was, you know, Bionicle had just wrapped up in 2010. So, I don't know. Uh, it's It's concerning, if anything. It is. Well, uh, I mean, aren't uh, I mean, I uh, aren't 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 uh, Bonacle and My Little Pony aren't they like owned by different properties? Yep. Wow. And weren't there buildable figures of made of My Little Pony? I believe there were. In in two different lines. Yep. I don't know, man. This seems kind of spooky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, I'm sensing a conspiracy here. Ah, oh, man. I wonder who's behind this. Could it perhaps be the Illuminati? It's got to be the Illuminati. I was about to say Illumination. They're like the Illuminati of the animation world. Yeah, maybe maybe, maybe um, Universal Studios is in on this. Maybe. They want this formula to be universal. Yeah, exactly. So... Ultimately, Matsunui is just uh, your typical, you know, good guy, father figure, you know, kind dude who saves the day. And he, and he saves the day. He, he, is. he beats the bad guy. And everybody lives happily ever after on uh, Spherus Magna. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm John Smith. And I'm Dylan Roberts.